Hello everyone, it is John and today's video is one of my favourite games from the 1980s. This is from 1985, it's by Pace Setter and yes it is 1985, Pace Setter Limited of Wisconsin. I don't think I've ever seen another game from Pace Setter, I could be wrong, but look this just wab it wham page when i saw it i just <laughs> i think it came into the shop when my wife was working and i just went oh geez i'm gonna have to get this one and uh and uh, yeah the lads just really enjoyed playing this so let's go have a look at what wab it wham page involves well this is the game called wab it wham page and uh, this was released in 1985 by Pace Setter. Uh, I've no idea what happened to the company, if it still goes anymore, but uh, yes. It's Cartoon, Mad uh, Cartoon Madness Adult Strategy Game. Yes, it's. A <laughs> we played this game a lot in the 80s. It's a very, very simple game. One person plays the farmer, who is basically the red. Then there are three other, so it's basically a four, up to a four-player game. And then there are the other, up to three rabbits that can be included. And they've got delightful names, which uh, once I can find it again. So you've got Bad News Bunny, Thugs Bunny, and Dirty Hair. So they had a nice sense of humour. So each season, so each turn will move along. So there is a set, you know, unlike a lot of the, some games during this time period where there was sort of no ending, this actually had a confined um, turn. And during each season, there were things for objectives within the game. So uh, a Wabbit Wham page... I'll come back out a bit. So a Wabbit Wham page game covers the four seasons of each year. Each season, the objective and way to score points changes. So in spring, uh, ploughing the fields with a tractor earns two points. Uh, summer is to stockpile carrots, and you get two points per carrot. Fall is to successfully attack another game character, and you get one point for that happening all the time. And winter is to destroy or protect buildings. So the rabbits need to destroy buildings, and they'll get the values that are listed on there. However, there's a multiplier on there, meaning that the building here so the tractor shed's got to be attacked three times to be destroyed for somebody to be able to claim that six points and for the farmer he gets half the points for each of his buildings that are still intact at the end of winter so there is a, a deck and uh, in the deck you've got all sorts of delightful things. You've got bear traps. And you can go for mail order where you get cranes and, uh, and monsters. Persuasion. Destroyer robots. You've got dog leashes, which I believe gives you the dog. Um, as I said, I haven't played this for so long. But I'm going to have to try and convince some people to try and play this again because I think it was, you know, it really was just a fun, a fun game. Dynamite. And look, they've even got a H-bomb in here, which is just really silly. It just allows you to, I think everybody on the board is attacked by the H-bomb, um, which I can't find at the, uh, at the moment. But because uh, I'm doing this with one hand holding my, my phone and the other trying to move everything. But the rules are basically an A3 piece of paper folded in half. Look, honestly, you can't get any easier than that for a set of rules. So 
I've had a lot of fun. Um, the score, uh, yeah, the score is once again the old style where you, you know, if you were on 12 points or 14 points, you'd put 10 there and 14 down there. So it's a little clunky with that. That's about my only critique or criticism, I think, with the uh, with that because otherwise it is a really fun game. It really is. So there you go. That is Wabbit Wampage. If you've played it, let me know what your thoughts are. So till next time, signing off the Honourable John.